One figure I get asked for time to time is the chicken. So I normally do this in red, mainly so I can make a joke about a Rhode Island red chicken. And then I will inflate it. So about four to five inches, about four and a half, five inches is uninflated on the end. For the chicken, we'll start at the tail and we'll put a small bubble in. Give that a twist and I will take the knot and I will twist that around so it holds it like a pinch twist. I'll then make a pair of bubbles a bit over four inches long. So I take my palm and go a little bit beyond that. Take those the bubbles and I'll lock twist them together. Those are going to be the tail of the chicken. I will then make another pair of bubbles about the width of my palm. About three inches long. And I'll lock twist those together. That is going to be the back legs, or the legs. I'll then make another pair of bubbles, probably just about four inches long, just under. Now I'll lock twist those together. That is going to be the body. So I'm going to make another bubble, about four inches long. With this bubble here, I'm going to do a three bubble roll, so I'm going to roll it between the other bubble. So that's now going to be the body. We pose the neck. I'm going to pull those two bubbles there apart. I'm going to push that up. So that now sits up. I'm going to go up about an inch or so. I'm going to put a twist. And then another twist. That bubble there middle of the chain is about an inch long, I'm going to walk, twist, or pinch twist to get it. Now I'm going to make it go fore aft, so that acts as a comb. And I should, if I've done this right, have just a little bit left on the end. Now I'm going to bend over, so what I do is I take that rubber, I put it, put it down there with my thumb, and then I squeeze the balloon. And that's going to be the beak. And there is my chicken! What? 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 What?